the big day's arrived. My lambs have been born, and at six weeks, are at last old enough to travel up to London with their mothers. They'll be driven by May. He owns the ram and the ewes I bred my lambs from, and hates leaving his beloved flock. Well, you know what they say about Welshmen. Hey, listen, 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 listen. The lambs are arriving today, yes? Yes? So we're going to start getting their new home ready for them. Jack, we're going to have to get rid of that goal, put it down the side somewhere. Nice. Ready? I had a sheep house constructed of farmer May's specification. It's a luxury home for the sheep. They're five minutes away, so I'm going to set up the fence, yeah, the electric fence. Don't you oh. purposely miss that, will you? May also advised me to put up an electric fence, which is the normal way for keeping sheep. First, I had to test it on my own flock. No. Ready, Jack? Hold hands! Hold hands! Hold hands! Otherwise, I'll die! Here they are. Hello, May. Hello. How are you, buddy? Are you well, got there? Good to see you. Come through, guys. Come on. Ready, guys? Ready? Yeah, I think. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> yeah. Right, quick, pull back up quick. Okay. <laughs> Ah, shit. Yeah, hold on, man. You've got to take the plug off, eh? The sheep had to get used to their new surroundings, especially the fence. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh. oh bottom! Oh, bottom! <laughs> my lambs are a crossbreed of Welsh Mountain and French Charolais, so I've decided to name them after my favourite Welsh couple, Charlotte Church and Gavin Henson. Charlotte! Charlotte! Charlotte. Charlotte. Happy, mate? Yeah. Yes! Tana and I don't want our kids growing up into total urban softies. We feel it's important that they hear the full story of the lamb's birth. It's not all as straightforward as you think it is, delivering lambs. OK, a press play, please, Meg. Six weeks earlier, Charlotte was born OK, but there was a big problem with the birth of my second lamb. Oh, it's not very well at the moment. He's alive at the moment, but he's... He doesn't want to come out, I'm afraid. No, it's not good, I'm afraid. Flip <laughs> uh, neck. Oh, sugar. He's alive at the moment, but he won't live for long. He's just developed a big belly, yes. Some of them do. Not very often, but uh, some of them do. Minutes later, the lamb died. So May selected an orphan for the ewe to foster instead. Rubber, rub it in her lamb, just to get the smell the same. And also rub it in her. It's a bit of after, but then she'll think it's her own. She will. She won't realise that her lamb has actually died. That's extraordinary. We we'll just put it in front of her. Gavin's fostered, so we're going to look after him and give him some special love. Yes? Yeah. yeah. Special TLC, tender loving care. It's already clear that raising my own sheep is going to make keeping pigs look easy. 